Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue on right where we were before. Okay, add in some of these different colors in there. Cool. So I kind of like that more purple color for the shadow instead of that muddy color. Okay. And like right here where the where the darkest shadow which is going to be here on this leg, then the warmest part of the leg will be right next to the shadow. Just something to remember. The, war the warmest parts of the skin are right where the shadow folds over. So the warmest part of the skin would be right here where the shadow forms over. Wouldn't it be that color? It'd be like, um, let's see if this is too warm. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take that color and then kind of just warm it up. That'd be the warmest part where it folds over right there. And I'm just kind of adding a little bit of shadow there, coming down. I'm trying to kind of make that, you know, that form of the leg right there. And see, as we, you know, start working over the colors, you end up losing a lot of the color. And it looks kind of uh, muddy right now. And I, I'll change that in just a moment by when, when we put this layer. I'll show you. Anyway, we'll throw this layer over another layer, copy it and duplicate it, and then put a layer um, style on it. And that will add a lot of coolness to it. It brings back the uh, saturation, everything you want. Kind of add some of this color in there as well. Kind of. So I'm just like slowly working in colors right now. Not so much working on form, but working with colors mostly. Add a little bit of this to kind of dull some of that down. I'm going to see if I can now sort of fix up her arm a little bit now. What I'm doing is I'm holding the Alt key down to this. Actually, I'm not, I have a key on my Wacom tablet that is set to Alt key. And I just press that really quick to bring up my color with my color picker, pick my color, and then lightly, I'm just lightly touching. And you can see all the lines, because you're not going to get a good mix with that brush, but you know, I want that mostly with that brush. And then I kind of come in with my soft brush, add just a few strokes to kind of blend those lines in where I don't want the lines to be seen. And I'm going to, there's a color I want, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this color, and I'm using that soft light selection up there, and I'm going to kind of just warm this up a little bit until I get a color I want. Just kind of, there we go, and then I'm going to take that color, and I'm going to slightly pink it up a bit, come over here, and it'll give me a nice highlight color. There we go, I'm going to kind of run this color along here. Cool. All right, now I will go back to normal brush. Add some of that kind of pink and red in here. So notice right now I'm just blending in the colors. I'm doing this quite fast as well. I'm going to add a little bit of that color into the elbow. And once I think I have everything like I want it, at least in that area, 
then I'll come in and start in just a second adding line works and details I'm going to add a little bit use that soft light brush again Just wanted to brighten some of that up a little bit. See now I'm, you know, since I'm working on this top layer, I'm now going to start blending in and getting the background I want. I'm going to use my cloud brush. I just, I don't know, sometimes I kind of just work all over the place. I don't know if I want these kind of gray color or I'll just kind of blend these colors together first until I get something I like. Add some atmosphere back there. Just kind of there we go. I would normally do this on, you know, a couple layers, but work on the background and the foreground. I'm just going to do it all in one layer. Over, or over it in one layer. That's not my cloud brush anyway. Add some of this color over here. I'm going to think I'm going to kind of now uh, more of a kind of a peachy color. And let's see if I can use this brush. This is my real cloud brush anyway. I'm not going to do anything terribly detailed for the background, just going to kind of add some sort of atmosphere back there. And then what I'll do is I'll come into uh, all these colors in here and I'll kind of add my green and brown into that log and hopefully I can still see it over the thing I might have painted too much back and kind of still see it can add the details to it. Okay. I have to kind of fix some of this up really quick. But see, I kind of wanted that boot to kind of fade down there anyway. This video is almost out of time. Oh, come on, that's stupid. This thing updates way too much. Can't figure out how to get it to stop. It's like every hour or something. I don't want to turn the updates completely off, but I can't figure out how to... That, it's not like a... Anyway. Can't figure out how to get it to update the way I want it to. The right time. I'm going to add some of that that color for the highlight there. There we go. Oh, where's my time? Just about out of time, so anyway, if you want to click on the link to support me in the description. I'd appreciate it. Kind of sharpen up some of that. Come in and start adding some more lines in there. Okay, so we'll come back with the next video then.